I just wanted to say a few words about why this event is so important to our community and why we are here today. I don't think there's any question that our nation has made incredible progress over the last few decades. During World War II, we have a World War II veteran here, we were a country with segregated schools, segregated lunch counters, and a segregated media, a military and media. Though we have many challenges to confront and many barriers left to be torn down, we can be proud of the substantial strides we've taken toward making our nation's founding principles a reality. We move closer than ever before to ensuring that every one of our citizens has an equal opportunity to pursue the American dream. Black History Month marks an important opportunity to recall the contributions of African Americans who have helped pave the way to this unprecedented time in our nation's history. And this breakfast is part of that commemoration. It's my chance on behalf of our entire community to celebrate all that we have done for our country. Almost two and a half million African Americans have served in our military and they have sacrificed to help secure and ensure the greatness of our country for future generations. And I think it's important to remember that many African American veterans who fought to guarantee freedom in our country fought when they didn't have freedom in our country, didn't have the rights that they were fighting to preserve for many other Americans. Yet in spite of that, African American members of the armed forces worked and fought relentlessly for our nation, serving with bravery and valor whenever possible. And your service serves a dual purpose in our nation's history. While you fought in the name of liberty at home and abroad, your willingness to sacrifice, even in the face of inequality, demanded attention and pushed this nation closer to fulfilling the promises it was created to achieve. These are the founding promises of our nation, quality, justice, and opportunity. And that is remarkable patriotism. Your patriotism is remarkable, and it deserves our recognition and our applause. So on behalf of all of those for whom you helped create a better America and a better world, thank you. The arc of progress you have helped achieve is very real and very visible. A little more than 148 years ago, a man named William Harvey Carney became the first African American to be awarded the Medal of Honor for his service in the American Civil War. Now in 2011, the Commander-in-Chief of our Armed Forces is African American. And as we all know, that didn't happen overnight. It took your service to help get us here. But quite frankly, frankly, we've got a long way to go before we get to where we need to be. So we need to keep pushing. Too many Americans, too many American veterans don't have the opportunities they deserve and need to succeed in and out of the service. More young men and women who have served face homelessness, homelessness and drug addiction. Veterans are shut out of opportunities and are often not getting the benefits they are entitled to. It is our duty to keep fighting on behalf of those who have fought for us. With that in mind, I hope you know that I am your ally in Congress. During the last two years in Congress, we've made some great strides for veterans. Prior to the change in control of the House of Representatives this January, we added almost a billion and a half dollars in new funding for veterans programs and guaranteed crucial initiatives will be fully funded, guaranteed fully, the, the crucial initiatives will be fully funded on time when needed most. We passed the largest increase in funding for veterans health care in history. We passed the new incarnation of the GI Bill, which will guarantee that those serving today have the opportunities that they need to prepare for tomorrow. We can't stop now because progress is being threatened. Already, the new majority in the House is trying to slash $75 million from a program that provides affordable housing to homeless veterans. And like in 1995, government shut, a government shutdown has the potential to delay disability payments. 
That's irresponsible, that's reckless, and it's unpatriotic. I'm proud to be part of a community here in Louisville that recognizes just how important our veterans are, not just to our past, but to our future. And that's why I'm here today, to honor your service, to listen to you, and hear your concerns. Two other points I'd like to make before I open the program up for questions. One is, and some of you have heard me say this before, just in general about Black History Month. You know, back when there was a debate about whether to create Black History Month, people would say, why don't we need a special month to honor African Americans? And I was doing Leo at the time. I was a journalist writing columns and mouthing off. I'm mouthing off now, but I have to be a little more careful. And just as a, for something said, you know, what, about, what was I really taught? I started to think, what was I really taught about black history as I, as I was growing up? I went back and dug out my college American history book. Now, I was really fortunate I got to go one, to one of the best universities in the country. And the, the American history book that we used back in the late 60s, it was written in 1963 by the best historians in the country. It's 800 pages long. There were two African Americans mentioned in the entire 800 pages of American history. And when I, I didn't read the whole book, look at the index. When I realized that, I said, you know, I was cheated. I was really cheated in my education. And I didn't learn about so many incredibly important people who meant so much to the economic, social, and political history of this country. And so I, keep saying, we actually should have made February African American History Month. We should have given it the one of the longest months, not, one, not the shortest month. But, I, but I'm thrilled that we are doing it, and I'm thrilled that the country has embraced Black History Month as something that uh, they consider extremely important to our